How much time do you spend on a classic daily activity, namely evacuating your bowels? Surprisingly, the average person spends around 73 hours per year doing this, which equates to approximately 12 minutes per daily session. That is quite a substantial chunk of our lives dedicated to pooping. Also, let's not forget the feeling of repose and alleviation we experience after wrapping up this essential task. So why does our existence seem less encumbered post-poop? To understand this, we need to delve a little deeper into human anatomy and the actual act of pooping. Pooping assists in expelling waste and undigested food from the body, while supplying the digestive system with more space for incoming nourishment. However, the satisfaction we feel from this activity is not solely dependent on the successful clearance of our intestines. It also revolves around the stimulation of a set of specific nerves within our bodies. Enter the pudendal nerve. This mixed nerve, composed of both sensory and motor nerves, primarily manages the sensory and motor innervation of the perineum, the area between the anus and the genitalia, as well as the external genitalia in both genders. This nerve's pathway transverses the pelvis and buttocks, eventually linking to nerves extending from the spinal cord. Its critical task includes regulating the movement and sensations in our pelvic region, which comprises the external genitalia and anus, as well as the muscles that permit us to successfully eject our waste. The process of pooping results in the stimulation of the pudendal nerve, triggering feelings of pleasure due to its role in sensory input. In our large intestine, the colon is linked to the brainstem by the vagus nerve. This major nerve manages a variety of crucial body operations, including mood, digestion, immune responses, and even heart rate. It operates as a two-way communication channel between the brain and the digestive system and other organs. The vagus nerve stems directly from the brainstem as the 10th cranial nerve, passes down the neck, and extends into our abdomen. The act of pooping elicits a relaxation response in our buttocks and pelvic muscles, inducing a certain level of stimulation in our vagus nerve. This activity reduces heart rate and blood pressure, rewarding us with a temporary state of pure relaxation. However, be warned, overstimulating the vagus nerve can be dangerous, which could potentially result in fainting while on the toilet, not the pleasurable experience you were hoping for. In our body, certain muscles, notably the internal and external anal sphincters, tense up to prevent the unwanted escape of feces. While the internal anal sphincter functions automatically, the external one is under our control. Muscles along the digestive tract are responsible for food propulsion. The sum total of these contractions result in an escalation of abdominal pressure. Remember that sensation before a big poop? We consider this pressure as normal, resulting from our bowel's expansion due to the presence of air, fluid, or stool. When we finally poop and this tension is released, our muscles rejoice in a much-deserved break. Finally, let's paint a picture. Imagine having a day off, cozy in bed, indulging in a TV show, when the unexpected urge to poop disrupts your peace. In this situation, many might perceive this as a bodily betrayal, making them feel overwhelmed and helpless, without any control over their intestines. Regular bowel movements help to manage this concern. That feeling of relief we all know so well when we finally give in to nature's call is partly due to the vagus nerve. When it's stimulated, it helps lower our blood pressure and heart rate, thus providing that ultimate relaxation. And there you have it, the scientific explanation behind that satisfying post-poop feeling.